Happy pre-4th of July, Sunday. And now we're on to mystery beer number six, the Bill Russell. Hey, 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 hey! Who goes there? Much appreciated. Welcome to Bruce with Beck. Welcome to Bruce with Beck. I'm Dan. And how the hell is your Sunday? Are you great? Are you so great? All right. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Yeah, I hear that way too much. People are not amazing all the time. All right. But you are if you have a mystery beer. <laughs> Woo! Happy Sunday. All right. Read. What is Sunday? You betcha. All right. Well, anyway, props out to my man Pete for uh, putting together the mystery beers. Uh, the Summer Series mystery beers on Brews with Beck. Uh, let's get to number six. I have no idea what this is. Hopefully, uh, you will grab a chair and a beer and join me. And uh, let's discover... What this beer is, and you can tell me in the comments what you're drinking or watching. Uh, maybe you're watching the the tail end of the Rocket Mortgage uh, today. Maybe some baseball. Who knows? You might be even uh, doing something outside. Would that would just be great? Uh, all right, let's get to it. No idea what this is. Mystery beer number. Julia serving the doctor. All right, here we go. All right, all I ask every time I pour this already does look like a hazy IPA, but will you please hammer the hell out of that like button? And if you haven't already subscribed, well, good God damn it, please subscribe. You're all my friends, so let's just go on this journey together. That way we can sit down with cold drinks anytime you want. Of course, leave in the comments what you're drinking. All right, all right, all right. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Happy Sunday. All right. Ah, uh, man. Uh, right off the jump, this uh, this beer is already looking great, and honestly, kind of ready to drink. So let me get a sniff and see what we got. All right, I think he packaged me in a heavy amount because he knows I like hazies, but he just figures what's the percentage, and uh, you know, maybe I'll try to name some hops. But I'm gonna already say New England IPA hazy. Ooh, getting some nice, real green, earthy uh, dry hop. A little, a little malt, a little, little caramel malt, but yeah, definitely getting some like herbal, herbal hoppery in there. If that's even a word. <laughs> Cheers on a Sunday. All right. Well, that's all I gotta say. I do get a little citrus, but kind of like that dirty earthy citrus. Maybe like a big, uh, some mix between like a mango, peach, tangerine. Maybe with a little pineapple. All right. Well, let's get to it. It it just looks crazy delicious. All right. No words, just emotions. Happy Sunday. Like and subscribe. Let's drink the damn beer. Really, all I can say is this is a lovely New England IPA. I already know it's a New England IPA. Just need to identify the percentage and rate it. So thank you on this one, Pete. This is not this is not a hard one to figure out the style. Let's just see if I can figure out whether it's a single, double, triple, quad, quad, hazy. That is New England. Cheers. Remember, put in the comments what you're drinking. Have I ever said enough? Yeah, you betcha. Getting like a bready dry hop with maybe even some peach cobbler going in there. The Julia Serving, the Bill Russell, the Jay Cutler. Some good sixes there. Or even the Mark Butt Fumble Sanchez. Yeah, I'm sure he loves that. I actually really like Mark Sanchez. When it comes on Colin, Colin Cowherd, that guy's that guy's a great, great dude. Um, all right. Mouthfeel on this one. It's such a lovely Sunday. Sun's uh, just glaring. It's fantastic. Fantastic, man. I'm going to say 70 out of 100 mouthfeel. Like, definitely approaching full mouthfeel, but still far away from being like a really uh, syrupy uh, stout that's just too much. Yeah, I'm telling you, the... the 
uh, creamy peach cobbler kind of going on this with some citrus. All right. Oh, yeah. Duh. Ooh. I even got a little, uh, you know what I just got? I got a little diesel note. A little, little E3 diesel note. Really liking this one. Um, I'm just going to guess maybe Nelson hops are in this. Or maybe, maybe some, uh, um, the, uh, Strata hop. Strata hop kind of is supposed to be generically known as the passion fruit meets, uh, weed dank hop. So, I could see some Strata and some Nelson in here, maybe. Because it, it is, it is, I mean, I'm definitely getting the flaked oats and wheat. I mean, that's why, I mean, you look at that. That is a true New England style, not just a hazy. Because it has the flaked oats and wheat, and probably, I'm going to say this is, I'm just going to be bold and say it's like a triple dry hop. Um, I'm going to say triple dry hop, double IPA, I think. Double New England IPA. Uh, I'm going to say 8 on the Richter. That is my guess. 8 on the Richter. Uh, and it is a uh, triple dry hop, double New England style IPA. Uh, 8 on the Richter. So, very good. Uh, I'm guessing at least a couple hops in it. Maybe, again, Nelson and uh, Strata. And, uh, man, this is good. It's really... I got it perfect temperature. Really nice and cold. up maybe something from uh from weldworks I, I don't even know but because again most of his brews are from uh colorado i mean it could be knotted root could be uh wow could be something really cool in colorado i don't even know about yet but anyway well let's get to it uh let's rate it dang i forgot, almost forgot let me give this a rating very good still down to hell no I'm actually, going to give this one just entering into Stellar. This is, this is very nice. Uh, I'd give it a 97, uh, getting into A plus category. So whatever beer this is, very impressed. Uh, but you know what I think it is. I mean, even if it's not triple dry hopped, I'm just trying to be very specific with the hops and triple dry hop. But, you know, hazy double IPA, um, 8%. All right. Let's get it on. Number six, mystery. Let's see what we got. Already rated it. Have my guess. Percentage. How's your Sunday going? What are you drinking? Vermont, Vermont, again, you're supposed to be telling me what you're drinking. Are you mowing the lawn? Are you doing a lawnmower beer today? Those, those can be nice, though. I mean, hell, I have, I have a thing called a dishwasher beer and, and a cooking uh, beer where you always got to have one while you're doing those chores. So, boom. All right. Here we go. Number six is, well, what do we got? I think I already see what I have guessed uh, where it might be from. The trash out of here. Put that in recycle. Oh, snap. Triple Juicy Diamonds. Hazy Triple IPA. Wow. Okay, it's not 10%. It is 9.2. Let me see what the facts are on this on untapped. Just so we know exactly this beer, it is Weldworks Brewing in collaboration with Other Half Brewing, uh, Triple Juicy Diamonds, 9.2 on the Richter. So I was uh, 1.2 percentage points off on that. Obviously, I did know it was a uh, hazy IPA, uh, so style was easy. But uh, yeah, I mean, they're wrong. It doesn't shock me. Now, again, let's, let's be honest. I looked at the date on this can. This can is not a month in the can, and I figured Pete might ship me out cans that he's had for maybe a few months. Uh, this can is literally five months old, and it, but it still tastes fantastic. So, but that's maybe why it, I felt like it was a little smoothed out. Um, felt like more like eight instead of nine point two because it's had a little bit more time in the can. Just have to say that because that can make a difference on what I would think blindly this is. Uh, collaborate, uh, 4,200 people. By the way, I have had this before during the pandemic when Pete sent me one of these. 
Uh, at that point in time, in 2020, June 2020, I looked at it, the percentage on this was 10.5 on the Richter. Not always 9.2, so uh, it changes year by year, but other half makes some of the best haze in the game according to this. Triple Juicy Diamonds is our version of Space Diamonds Juicy Bits mashup. This is one of the hoppiest and juiciest IPAs we've created with four kinds of hops. Now again, I was wrong on the hops. The flavor is absolutely bursting uh, uh, out of the can in a volca volcano of juicy dank goodness. A juice bomb dripping with hop character. Uh, it has um, Citra Mosaic, Eldorado, and Galaxy. Um, I just thought maybe it was Nelson and maybe a little Strata because I was getting the dankness. But again, that's that's hard to guess. But all I know, fan, fan friggin' tastic on this Sunday. <laughs> you see the smile on my face. So, average rating 4,200 people, a 4.3 out of 5. To me, that rates about what would be on my system, about a solid. I would say that's probably like someone rating at a 9.5 on my scale. I rated it, or a 95 on my scale, I rated this a 97. Um, doesn't say, but, you know, like I said, I thought it was triple dry opt. It is a triple, so I wouldn't be surprised if they just don't say that. Um, but anyway, well, what again, get your beer, whatever you have left of it, cheers. Here's to Sunday, moving into America week, America. So, slamming moment. Let's get this triple juicy diamonds in my belly. Hit the spot. That's a beer. Finito. Alright. Well, fantastic, fantastic Sunday beer. Great, uh, great mystery beer. Again, I was, I'll admit, I was, I, that's, that's, that's a miss that I, that I missed it by 1.2 percentage points, uh, in the ABV, so didn't quite get that right, but what, what a beer. Um, 97 out of 100. So, uh, let me know if you've had this, um, uh, Anything else, let me know. Uh, great Sunday. Let's look forward to America Week. And uh, just give me a like and subscribe, and we'll see you out there. Peace.